This is my car, a 1987 Oldsmobile Calais. Got it for 275 bucks at an auction. Uh, first, let's go look at the interior. It's pretty nice for uh, 87. You don't see this that many of them on the road anymore. Has a pretty nice interior. I'm just gonna take the key out because there's an annoying door there. Here we got 91,000 kilometers. Pretty low for an 87. Here we got tilting seats. This is the two door. Pretty nice interior. Here we got kind of a shrubby kind of looking body, but it's a nice car for 275 bucks. But here we go. Here's your main, you know, passenger seat. Got everything in the glove box we need. Let's take a look under the hood. We got, let's see what we have. Okay, we got, uh, I think it's a, yeah, it's a full cylinder. These didn't come with V8s or V6s. That's pretty obvious. Uh, battery's working fine. It's running great. Uh, maybe on the next video I do, I'll, uh, you know, start it up and do, I might even do a cold start once winter comes, but it's all to be, uh, you know, figured out on. Uh, has a brand new alternator. That's great. Uh, the only thing wrong with it is, I think there's a malfunctioning something in the transmission, like an electrical ma malfunctioning, but we're gonna switch it off so it doesn't do that, because the other day, when I got it, it stalled in the mi middle of the intersection and scared the crap out of me a little bit, but whatever. It's a pretty nice car for 275 bucks, you know. You can't, can't get that good these days. And, uh, yeah, I'd say it was fairly worth it. It came to 500 but, because it was at an auction, but it's fairly nice. Every gauges are all working. Runs great. Has, uh, power locks. Gotta love them. Let's see, let's look at the trunk. If I can uh, get it open, then uh, we're gonna have to open up the trunk. That's a full amount of trunk space. Here we go. Ooh, air freshener in there. That's a garbage. I gotta clean this thing out, you know. But, pretty nice uh, trunk lid. I mean, uh, trunk space. It's a great car. I, uh, I was thinking about maybe trading it in down the road for maybe a Mercury Topaz or a Ford Tempo, you never know, or maybe a Japanese car, but I don't know. I'm planning on keeping it for now. Uh, it's an obviously an automatic. They never made these in standard. Uh, planning, I might take out this uh, great uh, stereo. Um, I mean, a cassette player if I can. I doubt I will, but, because I don't listen to much music in vehicles. But, yeah, it's only really a nice car for that much. I was thinking if it was private, I would have maybe tried to work them down, but to a lower price. But you know what? This is a great deal. Anyways, uh, uh, as you can see, all the hubcaps are on. You know, no taillights are busted. You know, Close that, and as you can see, you know, it has a little bit of rust here, but I'm planning to patch that. That's kind of, you know, common for in like an older car like that. And it has, as you can see, peeling paint. Uh, I don't know how I'm gonna patch or do something with that, but I know I will. Uh, like absolutely no cracks in the windshield. Uh, still put the auction number on it. Uh, that's kind of, I'm gonna take that off. And if you can see, uh, we got the bottom of the color, if you can see that. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty, uh, it's a really nice color, you know. 
I uh, I would have preferred like a mercury topaz or something like that, but you know this is all good. I'm uh, I'm really happy with it. Let's go see what we have in the glove box. Since I only uh, opened it about once. <sighs> You know, I might just keep this color because, you know, you don't see that many um, Oldsmobile Calais on the uh, road anymore. Well, maybe maybe newer ones, but here we got the 87 Owner's Guide, 1987 Owner's Guide. And there's some other just useless stuff in there that I don't think I'll ever need. Ooh, we got automatic truck lid release. That's always uh, really useful if you don't want to you know, get out and unlock it. You know, back seats are pretty nice for, you know, interior is not beat up at all. Person who, uh, the first owner of this car actually uh, took care of it a lot. Cause I was looking at uh, some couple cars and up, uh, I've seen some real uh, crap out there. Ones that, you know, air conditioning doesn't work, stuff with, stuff's wrecked on them, um, you know, headlights work, taillights work, all that, you know. As you can see, it's a Supreme model, if you can see that. It's a pretty good model. Uh, actually, it's a higher up model than anything else. Uh, no plates on it right now because uh, we're not going to be driving it. I'm not going to be driving it for a while. like. I do go up and drive and probably going to just um, put another permit on, take that one down. That was from moving it from, uh, you know, point A to point B. Uh, you know, I'll, I've always liked Oldsmobile. That's why I was interested in this car. has automatic uh, uh, fuel release so no one can uh, steal gas from me, but why would I even move with that? But yeah, it's a really nice car. It was, sure, it was 275 bucks. That's my sister. Hi. She is just randomly standing here while I uh, make this. Take this thing off your wrist. Why? Because it seems to be constricting you. But yeah, uh, she's really nice and all. Uh, this is my first video, so she's, hel so she's helping me. She's a big fan of Blink-182 and Angels and Airwaves, just to uh, let you guys know. But yeah, maybe next time I'll do a, you know, cold start video, you know, it depends, I don't know, but once I put this on, um, just comment and wait and, you know, see, you know, <laughs> depends if you like it, but yeah, enjoy.